Hey, what up, my people? This is your boy, Heck to the Tech. What's going on out there? How's everybody holding out with this coronavirus quarantine? I hope everybody's staying safe and they staying healthy, eating your vegetables, drinking your hot soups and your hot um, teas and trying to stay healthy and um since everyone quarantined right now and they shutting the city of New York and they shutting down other cities like Cali and a bunch of other bullshit. Um, you know, I'm gonna just tell a little story of, uh, uh, I'm gonna tell a story about back in the day of when um, I was supposed to meet Eminem. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all a story about, I was a shorty back then, I did not rap. Back then I didn't rap yet, I wasn't into rapping. You know what I mean? Um, I was just into hip hop, I was just a, hip hop fan, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't even trying to rap back then, you know what I mean, like, but, um, I didn't really start rapping until, like, the MySpace days, you know, like, 2000, 2009, 2000, you know, 2008, around that time, 2000, you know, but, um, yeah, I remember me and my boy first man, we heard Eminem was gonna be at Fat Beats. And you know, Fat Beats was the spot in Manhattan that all the underground, the underground heads went to buy, to cop vinyls, you know. Um, they also had CDs and tapes there, but they mostly had vinyl. They, um, um, uh, DJ Eclipse used to work there. L. Bill used to work there. I used to see L. Bill right there working, and I used to see DJ Eclipse. Um, he used to be, um, he used to spin records, and um, yeah, it was a dope spot. It was a dope spot. I remember, I remember once, um, One of my boys took a piss, took a piss downstairs, like, 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 like in Fat Beats. I'm not sure if they found out about it, but I do apologize to DJ Clips about that. I, um, he was drunk, he was a mess, and he was acting stupid. I told him not to do it. He wouldn't listen to me. And he took a leak downstairs in Fat Beats. And that shit was disrespectful. And I think, um, I think EJ Clips found out about it. And, um, um, I'm just saying, I apologize for that. I, I, I tried to stop him, but he was he was just uh, you know he was just uncontrollable at the moment. But um, but yeah. So uh, so what happened was Eminem was supposed to be at Fat Beats, and um, me and my boy went to go check him out. Because he had, he had just dropped the album, and uh, Eminem was gonna be at Fat Beats, uh, you know, signing autographs, taking pictures, whatever. So uh, me and my boy First Man went to go see him, and um, so we went, and uh, the line was so freaking long. 
we was just like, forget about it. We're not waiting on this line. You know what I mean? It is not, it is not, it is not possible that we're going to wait on this line. It's just not going to happen. You know what I mean? But outside, we met Evil D. And I don't, I don't know if, and for all of y'all that don't know who Evil D is, DJ Evil D, he's uh, the DJ for Boot Camp Click. The whole Boot Camp Click family, Rockness Monster, uh, Buckshot, um, Helter Skelter, Sean P, you know, Drew High, um, Ninth Wonder, um, Rusty Jux, just the whole family, you know what I mean? He's their DJ, he's part of their family. And back then he was popping, you know what I mean? And he he's he he was huge, you know what I'm saying? So uh since me and my boy didn't want to wait on that huge line to see M and M, um I went I went inside of the store we went inside of the store like after the line was done. After after Eminem already left and um and we saw Ill Bill, he happened to be behind the counter, you know. He used to he used to um he used to be at the cash register and we asked him um um if they had the Eminem C D and um he said, nah, it wasn't in stock. It was sold out or some shit like that. And um, we were like, oh, damn. But he was like, y'all could come back to cop it. Yo, we were mad shorties then. We were so young. Ill Bill, Ill Bill, Ill Bill was rapping, but he was he still had a job at Fat Beats. Like, him and Eclipse were working at Fat Beats. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but, um... That shit was dope. So, <clears throat> so Eminem already had left, and um, me and my boy first man stepped out, walked out, went to get some forties. We went uh, and sat on the stoop, and then we saw DJ Evil D walk by, and he handed a CD over to my boy. And he gave me the meanest grill in the world. I don't know why. I don't think he liked me too much, man. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, I know, I know. I barely smiled back, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you, you know what I'm saying? I always used to look a little grimy. And, and I wasn't that friendly and shit. But, I mean, I was a cool dude regardless. But still. He um he just handed the CD over to my boy. I don't know if he still got that CD. I hope he does. You know what I mean. But um, shout out to Evil D, man. Word up. Shout out to uh, Ill Bill. We got a song with Ill Bill, Shady Villains. It's on the album. Monsters in the Attic. Eminem bit our intro on that Godzilla track. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Eminem for listening to our shit. It's an honor. You know what I mean? It's an honor to, that he's listening to our shit. You know what I mean? Word up. But anyway. Um, yeah, so so Evil D was, was really not feeling me. You know what I mean? Like, he had a bunch of CDs in his hand. And he just handed the CD to my boy. He didn't even give me one. And I'm like, yo, I'm more of a hip hop head than than my boy was, like, you know what I'm saying? But um, my boy was more of a, a a Black Moon, Black Moon Smith and Wesson fan than I was, you know. I was more into like Wu Tang and and you know like, you know what I'm saying? I was more into harder shit, but I, I was also a Black Moon fan and all of that but still 
I mean, he could have gave me a CD too. I was rocking with it. I was I was always rocking to to help the Skelter and DJ Evil D tapes and all of that. You know what I mean? I mean Evil uh, um, um, Evil D CDs and shit like that. But um, yeah, the shit was messed up. You know what I mean? Kind of hurt my feelings, but <clears throat> I ain't sweat it. I didn't sweat it. So me and my boy First Man just sat on the stoop. We were talking about girls and just sharing the 40. You know what I mean? In those days, there weren't no coronavirus. So we wasn't spreading no coronavirus to each other. You could share 40, you know what I mean? Nowadays, you can't even share 40, man. Check out my Los Angeles shirt. You know what I mean? Word up. Last time I wore this was in Los Angeles last year. Word up. Anyway, man, hope everybody's staying safe. You know what I mean? Salute to everybody. Stay healthy. You know what I mean? Uh, don't be too, don't be too, don't get too close to people. Stay away from each other. See, I don't spread the the flu around that that coronavirus the covid you know what i mean that's what they're calling it now um yeah man that's about all i gotta say for today i'm just checking in with y'all you know what i mean see what's up uh please subscribe like and comment let me know who y'all met before if y'all met anybody in the underground or in the mainstream, what was your experience with them? Cause um, you know, I've met I've met a few artists. I've met I've met a lot of underground artists and I've met Rusty Jux, you know, he mad cool, you know, he showed me love. Um, um I've met um a lot of people. Ill Bill was mad cool, you know what I mean? Even um before he was rapping, Eclipse was always cool. You know what I mean? Um, shout out to Eclipse for playing my records, for um, allowing me to come up to halftime and all of that. You know what I mean? And um, shout out to Ill Bill for jumping on the Shady Villain album. And shout out to DJ Evil D, man. You know what I mean? I know he don't remember that shit. He don't remember us because... We were just fans, we were just shorties, and he was just trying to hustle his shit or trying to promote his shit, you know what I mean? He was, like, he didn't even ask for any bread or nothing. He was just handing it out, but I kind of felt hurt because he didn't give me a CD, and and I was like, damn, so, you know what I mean? But he was probably like, I'll give y'all one. I could probably just record it for my boy. Which is what I probably did, you know what I mean? But um, still, I would have liked to have my own CD too, you know what I mean? But shout out to Evil D regardless, man. Word up. Um, So yeah, that's my video for today. Shout out to everybody. Hope everybody get better. Um, Hope we get out of this crisis soon. You know, I remember I had a song called Crisis back in the day. It was one of my first songs. You know what I mean? I'll probably put it out one day, man. I don't think it's out there. It might be, but uh, yeah. I've just been working out a little bit. I've been writing, editing videos. About to drop a video soon with my dude from L.A. Because I was in L.A. last year and I shot a video. You know? I hit a Coachella and shit like that. And um, the video, dope. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. It was around the time he he passed away. And the streets were hot. And But I still had a good time in L.A. Um, shout out to Life on Earth. The video's dropping next weekend. Uh, yeah, make sure y'all check it out, man. For real, I'm out, man. Peace. Have a good, have a good rest of the day. And... Uh, God bless. Peace.